Hi, my name is Emily of Emily Selling Fitness and welcome to your lower body stretch video. In this lower body stretch video, we're of course going to be focusing on stretching your lower body. So I want you to go ahead and start with your feet hip width apart and parallel. Inhale here and then on the exhale, drop your chin to your chest and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Imagine like you have a dumbbell attached to the top of your head and it's just weighing you down, bringing you all the way down to the ground. Good. At the bottom, I just want you to hold here. Bend your knees, softening the knees so that you can rest your abdominals on your thighs. And then lengthen the knees. Stay in your forward fold. Good. Just bending and stretching. Bending and stretching. Good. Hold the bend. Inhale. And then start to tuck your tailbone, start to pull your lower belly in, and as you come up, you'll start to straighten the legs. Good. At the top, roll your shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, we go back down, chin to the chest. Take your time here. So yes, we're going for the lower body, but why not get a little spinal mobility in here? down as far as you can. Maybe the fingertips brush the mat, maybe not. Bend the knees. And straighten. Good. Bend the knees. And straighten. From there, I want you to heel toe your feet out to a nice open position. Toes are going to be facing outward, heels are facing in. And start to sway side to side. Good. Shifting your hips back instead of just over. So think back behind you. Good. Can you lengthen the spine? Good. From there, I want you to hold your bend in your right knee and then reach both hands towards that left ankle and pull almost like you're hanging off that left ankle. You should feel stretched on the inner thigh on the left side. Maybe a little bit of the hamstring on the left side as well. Inhale here. Exhale. And then you're going to turn those left toes so that your foot is parallel to the edge of your mat. Turn the right toes and then drop that right knee down to the ground. Good. We're going to go into our greatest stretch, stretching out the hip flexors on the right side. Left knees over left ankle and then press your hips forward. Good. And in this stretch, I want you to think about tucking your tailbone under to increase the stretch in that hip flexor. If it feels good with your hands down on the mat, keep them there. If you want to level up a little bit, take your hands to your thigh. Good. Even more is for you to sweep those arms up overhead, push your hips a little bit further forward. But notice the belly stays in and not dumping everything down and keeping it in. So then taking those hands back down to the ground, I want you to bend your right knee and then reach back with your left hand to wrap onto the right foot and then pull the foot towards the bum cheek. Right shoulder stay down, lengthen the spine. So we're still feeling that hip flexor getting into the quad as well, right here. I'm not the most flexible person in the world, I'm the first to tell you. This stretch feels pretty good, but if your foot is really far away, you can also wrap a towel around that foot, a resistance band, and gently release that leg down. And then you're going to shift your hips back, flexing your left foot and lengthening your left leg as much as you can. Nice. My hamstrings are my real problem area, so the back of the thigh. I really feel this. I know some people can reach all the way forward. That's not me. I'm going to try to walk my hands a little bit further forward, get my chest a little closer to my thigh. And I don't. I want you to avoid just rounding and folding over. So keep a little bit of extension in the upper back, or at least engagement. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sit down. Take that right foot forward, take your hands behind you, and then cross your left foot in front of your right, lifting your chest and getting a nice stretch on our external. 
external rotator is to feeling our outer glute. Lifting the chest, maybe lifting the gaze. Taking your foot a little further out is going to lighten the stretch, but pulling it further in is going to increase. Maybe you sway side to side. Finding any sticky points. Good. And I myself am doing this stretch after a workout. But you can also do this in the morning, in the evening. Ooh, yeah. Feel a nice sticky point right there. Whenever you find a sticky point, just hold on to it a little bit. Notice if you're clenching, try to unclench. Whenever I'm stretching out my glutes or my hips, I try to think of like I'm doing this in a pot of warm chocolate. So it makes me feel a little bit more welcome to the stretch. Good. Coming back center. Nice. From there, we're just going to find once again our little wide position. So not the most glamorous or graceful transition, but that's all right. And then shift the hip side to side. Now notice does your left hip feel different? Does your left leg feel different? Good. And then bending that left knee, reaching your hands towards the right leg, and starting to hold, or excuse me, pull off of that right ankle. And then the inner thigh, the right side. Just breathing here. Nice. Stretching is so important. It takes time and effort, just like a workout. And usually, if we make time for the workout, we're thrilled, and so we're like, you know what, I'm just going to cut the time for the stretch, I need to get back to work, or back to making dinner, taking care of my kids. But I would say, cut your workout down, and add to the stretch. Nice, from there, come back to center with your weight, and then turn your toes so that the edges of your feet are parallel to the edge of your mat, and then bend that left knee. So you can walk your right foot forward a little bit, right knee over the right ankle, and then press your hips down. I feel the side much, much more with my hip flexor. Good, again here, if you think about stick, excuse me, think about tucking your tail, it's gonna increase the stretch. You can stay here or take your hands up to your left thigh. This hip is a little bit, um, doesn't feel stable for me. So I need to be a little more careful, squeezing that right butt cheek a little bit more and that left butt cheek a little bit more to make sure I don't topple over. It's a little bit of an injury on the side, an old, old injury, and so it makes me feel sometimes like I'm, like everything's gonna fall apart. Good, from there, sweep the arms up if that feels good. Only if it feels good. I'm not doing this to take pictures, right? We're doing this to feel a good stretch and to feel safe and secure in our bodies. From there, take your hands down. You're going to bend that left knee, grab onto that left foot with your right hand, and then pull the heel towards the seat. Keep pressing your hips down. Again, way tighter on this side, holding only. Hmm. Normal, but still unpleasant. Pressing your hips down. If you need to grab that towel to wrap around your left foot, that's fine. Notice if you're starting to come onto the edge of your left foot, see so if you can press the inner portion of your left foot more, excuse me, of your right foot more into the ground, to this front foot. And then release that back leg down. Now we're going to lengthen the right leg, hopping onto that heel, getting into that right hamstring. as much as you can, flexing the foot back, and here if you think about sticking out your butt, you're going to feel it increase the stretch. Very good. Alright, from there you're just going to come to a seated position. You're going to bend that left knee and then take the right leg and Flexing that right ankle, lifting the chest and trying to avoid sinking down in the chest lifting. But I'm sure I'll watch this video and I'll think you could have lifted normally. And then maybe swaying side to side, peeling out any sticky points. Hold. 
cold and then you find the sticky point. Thinking about pouring hot chocolate, warm maple syrup, something else very pleasant and warm. Thank you so much for taking this time to do your lower body stretch. I know it's not easy to take the time to stretch on top of all of the other things you have going on on top of your workout, but that stretch is super important. It's going to improve your performance. It's going to improve your recovery and make you feel better in your body as you go about your day. Again, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.